I'm Chris Duke. And this is Motors. So you just bought a shiny new pickup truck, and what's the first thing that you do to it? Well, like most people, you bought a truck to haul your gear, but you don't want your gear to get ripped off or damaged by the elements. So what do you do? You get a tonneau cover. Now there's several types of covers that you can get, from hard covers to rigid roll-up covers, but by far the least expensive and easiest to install yourself is the soft roll-up cover. Plus, unlike many other covers, when rolled up, it allows 100% usage of your entire bed. And that's what we're going to do today on motors. We're going to show you how to install a roll-up cover from ACI. Now these guys aren't at all new to the business. They've been making roll-up covers for about 18 years and they've got seven different models to choose from that fit just about every pickup truck that's out there. The model we're installing today is called the Lorado, which is based on the original access cover and it's perfect for any truck owner who's looking for that sleek, stylish, low-profile look. Like all other ACI covers, the Lorado is made in the USA, comes with a lifetime warranty which covers all the components including the fabric itself. Plus, according to ACI, having a tonneau cover can increase your gas mileage by up to 10%. Now that is pretty cool. Our new Lorado cover is going on a 2007 Toyota Tundra pickup truck right here. But before we get started, let's take a look at what comes in the box and what tools you're going to need to install it. The Lorado kit comes from ACI with a heavy duty cover that's vinyl coated on both sides. It's not going to stretch or shrink under unusual climate conditions. It also comes with two of these bed rails that have some really heavy duty velcro strips on here. That's going to keep the sides of your tonneau cover down, it's not going to blow off your truck. It also comes with eight of these aircraft grade aluminum clamps, two tension adjusters, all the bolts and nuts and washers that you need, a weather strip for the front of your truck, and all the tools that you're going to need is a tape measure, a couple of 9 16 inch wrenches, a pair of scissors, and a spring clamp if you've got one. Put both rails in the bed of your truck with this weather stripping facing towards the bed rail and this nylon strike facing towards your tailgate. Starting with the driver's side, hold the rail up so it's flush against the bed rail and then push it all the way forward to the front of the bed. Now to hold it in place, grab some spring clamps, we're using some vice grips. Just hold it in place so that you can put the clamps on next. Now put the first clamp near the front of the bed and here's a little motor's tip. Make sure this nut is facing outward so you can get to it. Now before you get to the other clamps, you need to close your tailgate and make sure that it's level towards the back of the truck here. If it's not, then you need to raise this up a little bit so it's flush with the top of your tailgate. Now install the remaining clamp starting with the center right here. Once you've done that one, then do the rear back here. Now ACI recommends, since this is a long bed pickup truck, to add one additional clamp right between the center and the rear. We're going to do that last. Now if you notice here, the rail isn't exactly level, there's this gap here, so we need to tweak these clamps. You can adjust them by moving them up and down on both sides until this is down and level. Now that we've got the driver's side rail leveled, repeat for the other side. Now we've got both rails secured to the sides, it's time to seal up the front. So before you stick this thing down, use the provided alcohol pad to clean the surface. Peel the paper off the adhesive backing and apply. Put your rolled up tonneau cover on the tailgate of your truck with this front bar facing up because now we need to attach these tension adjusters with the supplied one and a quarter inch bolts right in this nut that's down there. Now take careful note, two things here, there's one marked with an L, one that's marked with an R. The R goes on the passenger side and the L goes on the driver's side right here. The other thing to note is to make sure that these aren't moved, they both need to be in the same position. 
Just finger tighten these for now on both sides. Put your tonneau on the front of the bed of your truck with this front bar facing up and make sure these straps are tucked down in there. And then take the front bar and turn it around. Take this front vinyl piece and make sure that it's tucked in all along the front and then push it against that seal there. On the driver's side, take your tension adapter and notice that there's a hole on the bottom. That's going to meet up with the hole on this rail here. So what you want to do is you want to slide this over so that it meets up right underneath so you can slide the supply bolt through that hole. Just make sure you don't turn this knob at any point. And then tighten this in there. Now repeat for the other side. Now take your tape measure and use that to center the front bar between the edges of the bar and the rail. You want to make sure it's the same amount of distance right in there. Now in our installation, it was snug and it was the same distance on both sides, so we didn't really have to do anything. But once you've done that on your installation, now you can tighten up that bottom bolt on that tension adjuster. Roll your cover closed. When you get to the end, take this bar, pull it out a little bit, snap it into place, and close up your tailgate. It should fit nice and snug here. If there's any gap, you're going to need to adjust these clamps at the back end. Next thing you want to check is the amount of tension right here in your cover. Now, if it's too loose or too tight, then you're going to need to adjust those tension adjusters up at the front of the truck. In our case, it came out just perfect, and the only thing we've got to do now is seal the sides. The auto latch is right here on the driver's side, so when you close the tonneau, it snaps into place like this and engages. So when you want to open the tonneau again, you have to pull on it and lift up. For additional security, on the passenger side, there's a slide lock that grabs onto this rail right here. So once you've closed it, just slide it into place. To roll up your cover, just open up your tailgate and pull on the quick release latch right there. Start rolling up. When you get to the front here, you've got some straps, you can tie it down so it doesn't move around when you're driving. And like I said at the top of the show, this thing is easy to install, so there's no reason why you shouldn't get out there and do it yourself. Save some cash in the process and have some pride knowing that you installed it all by yourself every time you look at it. For more information on the Lorado cover or any of ACI's other roll-up tonneau covers, check out www.agricover.com. You can also buy the Lorado online at their site for around 500 bucks, or you can use their dealer finder at their website to find a local retailer and pick one up today. Well, that does it for this episode of Motors. You can watch more episodes by heading on over to www.motors.tv, or you can also request a free sticker for your ride and ask questions in our forums. We'll catch you next time. Bam! I am the human burrito. I am the human fruit roll-up. Things you need to remember. Do you remember? <laughs> I like I like what's going on. I like what's happening here. Whoa! 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 But you don't want your gear. Your your gear. Zoot!